Welcome to the video on an overview of Classless Interdomain Routing CIDR, and its essential key concepts. Let's talk about CIDR, also called CIDR, or Classless Interdomain Routing, and why it's essential in networking. CIDR is a method used to improve IP address allocation efficiency by creating flexible address ranges. It is widely employed in AWS networking and security configurations, such as security group rules, to define which IPs can access specific resources. CIDR helps define IP address ranges in a concise format. Here are a few examples. The format xx.yy.zz.ww32 represents a single IP address, for example, 192.168. .1.132 specifies only that one IP. The format 0.0.0.00 represents all IP addresses globally, allowing unrestricted access across the range. While powerful, it should be used cautiously due to security implications. Lastly, 192.168.0.027 defines a range of 32 IP addresses starting from 192.168.0.0 and ending at 192.168.0.31. CIDR simplifies the way we manage and allocate IPs in networks of all sizes, making it a vital tool in modern cloud and network configurations. Now, let's dive into the two primary components of CIDR, the base IP and the subnet mask. The base IP serves as the starting point of the IP address range. Examples include addresses like 192.168.0.0 or 10.0.0.0. This is the fixed part of the address that defines the network's foundation. The subnet mask is used to determine how many bits are allocated for the network portion of the address. It essentially splits the IP into the network and host portions, defining the size of the IP range. For example, in 192.168.0.10124, the R24 represents the subnet mask. This is equivalent to 255.255.255.0, indicating that the first 24 bits are fixed for the network, while the remaining bits can be used for assigning individual IP addresses within that range. Together, the base IP and subnet mask enable efficient and precise allocation of IP ranges in a network. Let's take a closer look at how subnet masks define the number of bits that can vary within an IP address range. This concept is central to understanding CIDR, or Classless Interdomain Routing. First, we have a 8 subnet mask, represented as 255.0.0.0. .0 in this configuration, the first octet remains fixed, while the last three octets can vary. Next, the 16 subnet mask shown as 255.255.0.0. Here, the first two octets stay constant, leaving the last two octets to change. Moving on, the 24 subnet mask, written as 255.255.255.0, allows only the final octet to vary, while the first three octets are fixed. Finally, a 32 subnet mask locks all four octets, represented as 255.255.255.255. This means no bits can vary, identifying a single, specific IP address. In summary, CIDR notations like 8, 16, 24, and 32 give us the flexibility to allocate and manage IP address spaces efficiently. Understanding this concept is essential for designing scalable and secure network architectures. Subnet masks play a crucial role in allocating IP ranges, starting from a specified base IP address. For example, a 27 subnet mask allows 32 IP addresses in total. This is calculated by subtracting 27 from 32, giving us 5 bits available for variations. The final IP address in the range is determined by setting all 5 bits to 1 within the available space, marking the highest value in that range. Let's understand subnet masks and how they work within CIDR notation. Let's start by understanding the structure of a CIDR. In the format xx.yy.zz.wwss, the first part, xx.yy.zz.ww, 
is the base IP address, which represents the starting point of an IP range. The second part, SS, is the subnet mask, which determines how many bits are fixed for the network portion of the address and how many are available for hosts. For example, in 192.168.0.027, 192.168.0.0 is the base IP address and 27 is the subnet mask. This tells us that 27 bits are fixed for the network, leaving 32 minus 27, or 5 bits, available for host addresses. Looking at the diagram, we can calculate the IP address range. The starting IP address is 192.168.0.0. The last IP address is 192.168.0.31. That gives us a total of 32 IP addresses in the range, as 2 to the power of 5 equals 32. The subnet mask, shown in binary, helps us see how this works. For 27, the subnet mask in binary, as shown on the diagram, translates to 255.255.255.224 in decimal notation. The first 27 bits are all ones and are fixed, while the remaining five bits can vary from all zeros to all ones. By changing these five bits, we can generate all possible combinations, resulting in 32 unique IP addresses. The diagram clearly shows how the IP range is allocated, starting from 192.168.0.0 and ending at 192.168.0.31. In summary, the subnet mask defines how many bits are fixed for the network and how many can vary to create individual IP addresses. This flexibility allows efficient IP address allocation and management within networks. Let's review CIDR notations and their corresponding IP address ranges. The CIDR block 192.168.0.024 represents the range 192.168.0.0 to 192.168.0.255, which includes 256 IP addresses. Next, 192.168.0.0 source 16 expands the range to 192.168.0.0 through 192.168.255.255, covering 65,536 IP addresses. The CIDR 134.56.78.12332 specifies just a single IP. 134.56.78.123. Finally, 0.0.0.0.0 represents all possible IP addresses, effectively meaning any IP. Understanding these CIDR notations is key to defining and managing IP ranges effectively in network design. This is a summary of CIDR, or classless interdomain routing, which is a key concept for efficient IP address allocation. CIDR significantly improves the efficiency of IP address usage by combining a base IP address with a subnet mask to define specific IP address ranges. The subnet mask plays a key role in determining the number of bits that remain fixed for the network and how many can vary. Here's a quick breakdown. 8 supports 16,707,216 IPs, ideal for large networks. 16 allows 65,536 IPs suitable for medium-sized networks. 24 provides 256 IPs commonly used for small networks. 32 represents a single, specific IP address. CIDR is widely applied in AWS networking and security configurations, such as defining ranges in security groups. It enables efficient and flexible IP management for networks of all sizes, Mastering CIDR ensures better scalability, control, and optimization of your network resources.